Hey guys, this is Mr. Jimmy and welcome, welcome, welcome to another tutorial from the Mr. Jimmy FX Creation Shop. Alrighty guys, today's episode tutorial, however you want to say it, uh, is going to be on making your own latex paint to use for dry brushing or airbrushing. So, it's a simple process, a lot of people will tell you different things. I learned mine from Alan Hops and Ed Edmond, um, kind of a mixture of the two and combining it with what I used to use. Um, I used to use an a acrylic base with Windex and water and all kinds of other stuff and it wound up cracking. So I took um, Alan Hops' one third recipe of one third latex house paint, one third um, latex that you use for your mask and then one third um, distilled water and I combined that with Ed Edmonds original and plus I had tons of acrylic paint um, so I tested that out and I use regular acrylic paint that you can get at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, anywhere that sells acrylic paint. Um, 50 cent bottles this is metallic for gold um, so that's about a dollar fifty I think something like that but any acrylic paint you can get the squirt bottle the squirt tubes or bottles I prefer the bottles it's the same as everything else. It's cheaper and I get what I need. Um, so I'm going to use one third acrylic paint, one third latex that I use for the mask itself, which I'll show you exactly which kind I use, and then one third distilled water. Now, depending on the temperature, sometimes you may want to add a little bit more latex. Sometimes you may want a little bit more water, depending on how thick your latex is and how things are working. But the general is one third, one third, one third. And you can tell later on if you're trying to airbrush it if it's too thin or too thick a little bit of uh, latex will do that and if your color um, is not exact you can add a little bit more acrylic to adjust your color um, which we'll get more into that as we do it um, there's two methods of doing it um, one method is I use three cups of the exact same size one for acrylic paint one for latex and one for distilled water um, and I'll use regular old kitchen squirt bottles. Um, personally, I cut off the little connector and then I leave the top on, but I pull it off before you mix because it likes to squirt afterwards. Um, but I don't need that much gold. Um, it's not a common color that I use all the time as if I would most of the colors you see behind me, my skin tones, my blacks, my whites, and my clown colors. Um, so gold is something that I have only a few projects on. But I have to do an entire mask in gold for a character. Um, so I'm going to use a smaller bottle. Um, these are about 96 cent at Walmart. These are I think 3 for $4.99 from Hobby Lobby. They're actually the tie-dye bottles. But they're the extra bottles. Um, and you get 3 in a pack. Um, from Hobby Lobby. Um, not too bad. Not too expensive. But I use these for most of my uh, metallic colors. I have metallic blue, metallic red. Um, copper and a couple other different little colors um, but I don't use those a whole lot so I don't need a large amount of them so but the method we're going to use for this instead of this because three cups of this will not fit in this so we'll set those back there I'm going to use the measuring method take your bottle you want to measure it from bottom till top you don't want to get any of this stuff up here you just want to do the bottle size so just measure it I do inches you can do centimeters, millimeters, however you want to. I like inches because it's easier to divide. And that's all I know. Four inches. We have four inch bottles. So if we divide that by three, we can do either one inch and have an extra inch on top, which is good for shaking. Um, I'm probably going to do an inch and a... I'm going to do a quarter yet. Yeah, let's do an inch and a quarter because... No, let's stick to the inches. I'm going to stick to inches. That way I can get enough good shake room. Um, so, all I do is take my ruler. Make sure you get it out measured right. And just mark it 3 inches. 2 inches and 1 inch. And all that is, guys, is simply right there so I can fill up the first thing to the first mark, second thing, third thing. And simple as that. You can do that with the big bottles, too. Just as easy. Um... I just know exactly how much I'm going to put in there, so I use the cups because it works out great. Um, but I may be actually make more next time doing that. Um, you can mix this stuff in large quantities if you want to. Um, usually I keep it for a year. 
um, I'll mark the date on it. And once a year's up, I'll just throw them and make some more. It doesn't cost you that much. You probably have, on a regular color, 50 cent, a quarter worth of latex, maybe. 50 cent worth of latex. And then a bottle, a jug of distilled water is like a dollar at Walmart. So you, you have less than $3 in each bottle. And three fifty if you include the bottle. Um, so, we have that marked. So let's start with that. I have two kinds of golds. I have antique gold, which is the color I want. But I want to brighten it up just a hair with um, Inca gold, which is a little bit brighter gold. I don't want to bright it up much. I just want a little bit different color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the top. Put the shoes back on. Safety first. Don't cut your fingers. Slide up, cut your plastic off. Do the same on this one. Cut up away from your fingers. Away from your fingers. So, two golds. My main color I want to go with first. So, just squirt in. Just enough room for that other color gold. Don't throw these away because they're empty. Because I'll tell you about it a little bit. remember when you add latex latex is white until it dries um, but when you mix it with your paint it's gonna look lighter than it does when it dries so <clears throat> you always test that to see what it's gonna dry because if it's not dark enough add a little bit more acrylic and you're good to go so I have the gold I want just a hair bit above the line um, which is fine not a big deal um, but I am gonna get a mix of one of my cups just to scoop out my latex I use um, casting latex. This is Ram casting latex. I forget the exact number. Same thing as RD407. Um, but I get mine from Reynolds Advanced Materials. Um, great stuff. Um, I buy it in a five gallon bucket and I always separate it into gallon buckets for easier transportation, I guess, throughout the shop. Um, so I'm just going to scoop that up. Slide my edge. Let's pour. And guys, just remember, take that edge. I'll show you here. And scoot it down the edge. Just so you don't waste any. Now remember, I want a hair bit above that line. So I want to go a hair bit above the line again to make an equal ratio. Boom. Shake the excess out of that. Boom. Toss that in the garbage. And now you can see I have two levels, both right above it. And then, easy peasy lemon squeezy, take your distilled water. Now use distilled water because there's no chemicals involved. It's pretty much just straight water. There's no additives or anything. Because um, latex, some of the minerals and stuff will actually um, cause the latex to clump up a little bit. And if you're airbrushing, you really don't want to get any clumps. But as a little extra note, whenever you're spraying with your airbrush, buy screen. There's a regular door screen. Cut up in little squares. When you pour it, just strain each time you're going to use it and you get the extra little clumps that even do happen otherwise. So, distilled water, cup, and I'm just going to pour it into the cup. And now I'm going to add it on that third level. So, boom. That's there, Mama. It's a little bit clearer than I. And just a hair bit above it. Boom. And that's making your latex paint. Put the top back on. Now you just got to give it a good, 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 good shake. And that's it. And it's all going to mix. Now every time you use the paint, always shake it first. Um, just to make sure because it will separate itself some. But a simple shake, and it'll go right back to what you want, and it's good to go. And the good stuff about this, it's latex paint, so whatever you're painting latex mask, the paint's going to adhere to itself, so therefore you don't have to worry about um, it coming off, chipping off, rubbing off, 
um, and then it stretches just like the latex does so you don't have to worry about anything later on um, and then I use a sailor for all mass just for evidence best sailor I found a lot of people like to use plastic dip I've always had issues with it oh that's perma wet wrong one <laughs> um I like flex gloss I buy flex gloss from monster makers I mix it half water half flex gloss and it works great for airbrush seals the mask great don't have any issues give you good shine if you want a light shine just spray further away so we are all mixed up boom let's give it a little squirt and I think we're gonna be good and I'll do a test later on on a scrap piece of latex make sure it comes out gold like I want and we are good if not I'll add um, more gold to it and we'll, we'll be dead so therefore guys simple easy make your own paints if you're doing latex mask it works great you can brush it on dry brush airbrush it the exact same mixture saves you tons of money like I literally have less than three dollars in this and I can make any color I want I don't have to worry about nothing else um I literally can make any color if Walmart carries it I can make it if anywhere else carries it I can make it if not I can mix the colors and get what I want and it's so much cheaper but that is my recipe for latex paint for your mask props and everything else so it's one-third acrylic paint one-third casting latex and one-third distilled water all right so at this point in time, guys, make sure everybody goes and likes and subscribe to the page. We're going to be putting out a whole lot of new videos as much as we can. Tutorials, how-tos, fun stuff, just anything within the special effects world as we do it. And if you have anything that you want to see, don't know how to do, and you don't see anywhere on YouTube to how to do it, comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let us know what you want to, you know, what you want to learn to do and how to do it. So, on that note, I will see y'all later, and as always, stay creepy.